Okay, perfect. And you guys know I do like to keep it pretty chill. So if you do have any feedback, feel free to unmute yourself, show your camera. Um, once I figure out why my laptop is giving me a heartache, I will be showing my camera. But again, super excited to be here. Raw Season 1 launches this Saturday. Um, I will be dropping the t-shirt at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Um, there will be 25 shirts available. And we have a digital copy um, that will be available for staking through the Digital X platform. I have the awesome, awesome pleasure of working with Stella. If you guys know, this is some great behind the scenes information that you're getting for joining um but yesterday when we had our realm our realm weekly call i showed them the airdrop that i've been working on and they know my journey i've had kind of going from physical to digital so they all gave great feedback on um how my blender rendition is looking and how my t-shirt's coming out and stella of course gave her pointers to help and we are collaborating now and she is actually making the digital version so on alana alana will be wearing the digital t-shirt and that will be the nft that you'll receive along with the t-shirt the physical t-shirt and then you'll be able to stake the digital um did anybody have any questions i just heard an echo no okay all righty okay. Well, diving right in, because I have been sharing a lot about the t-shirt stuff, but if you guys ever want to um, talk more about that, of course, drop it in the chat. Again, I really want the chat to be somewhere where everyone can share information. If you write an article, if you mint an NFT, if you post something on social media and you want to share, find a channel in the Raw Realm and share it there. In our community, we really um, are going to be built on that support, uplifting each other and um, creating a community that opens them, welcomes them. So to kick that off, um, we will be having a governance token that we'll be launching, but that is something that I want to be building together because uh, just like last week where we talked about the roles and um, even Chess was able to offer another role, I want to talk about the things that will come with those roles, the incentives that will come with the roles, and just make sure the entire community is a part of building our community because that's what this is as a DAO we are creating this. So um, that's why I'm launching the t-shirts because that's what I do. The t-shirts is, you know, my thing, but everybody can, of course, obviously make t-shirts. So it's not like my, my thing, but it's just what I do as my example um, to show others how they can as well. So um, right now, today, we're going to continue talking about how others can contribute to this Raw Season 1 launch in order to get the airdrop that I mentioned. Now, the airdrop is um, a token of appreciation that I made on Blender. Um, so if you do any of these 10 things throughout the month of January, you will be airdrop this token of appreciation. Now, I did share this list in our realm as well and on Twitter, so you can always refer to that, but it is going to be broken into four sections, basically, and the first section is going to be the theme. So the theme is something that's going to be major in our community because, again, that's something we're all going to be able to add input on when it comes to picking our next theme and, you know, all the themes, things that we can do with those themes, especially, like I said, we're going to have workshops at the end of each season and can, again, build on all of this. So the theme is really important. And ways that you can be involved is out of my t-shirt, I did make nine patterns that I have minted already on DigitalX um, through their open source library. So if you're making any digital fashion and you use one of my patterns, then you'll get airdropped a token. Um, because that's one of those things we want to, again, start incentivizing people for using these systems that DigitalX has worked so hard to put together. We're creating this whole FGO library. So every time you go make fashion, you don't have to go and create a pattern 
or use a random pattern. You can use a real pattern that supports another one of your fellow artists. And again, just helps our whole ecosystem because they also use FGO, um, which means you're going to get royalties every time someone uses that pattern. So not only can you use my patterns, but I want others to use um, the theme blackout to make patterns as well so that again we can create you know a shirt that has everybody's pattern or all kind of things um so i want people again to use this theme to create patterns or digital fashion or use mine uh my patterns that i use for the blackout um so that's the theme if you do either of those two you'll get airdropped and again that's for the month of january um, January 31st, the airdrop will be closing. So um, you do have some time to, you know, work it out, see what you can do. The next is going to be collaborations, which is so important because, again, this is one of these are the things our community is built on. Right. So in the collaborations field, some of the things you can do is collaborate within the raw realm you can help someone go physical to digital we have a lot of people that are into digital and kind of still practicing so if you want something to practice um for and you see someone in the physical field you guys can collaborate and you know start helping people change their physical ideas into digital assets and in our community Everybody that you see in our community is there because they have that idea. A lot of people haven't started sharing just yet, but our community is full of some amazing people with amazing ideas. Like I have one friend who has like um, an Impala, like a classic Impala, and he wants to sell it. And we know those sell for a lot of money, but he wants to create an NFT for it first. So if you're able to cr collaborate on a project like that, those are big incentives for everyone involved. And that's, again, how we can kind of go into that field because everybody sells cars. So if we have someone that, you know, kind of focuses on that, on that physical to digital in the classic car realm, that's how now the raw realm is stretching and showing how you can go physical to digital with everything. Um, so just collaborating, sharing your ideas there on physical to digital, being that digital person that can help um, because again we are going to have a lot of learners and people coming into the space although I am um, putting in a lot of effort to make sure we get equal sides I don't want just learners and I don't want just educators I want a healthy mix so that everyone um, can come and share and feel like they're getting something out of our network so um, after that, you can also collaborate on bringing ideas that are shared in our idea chat in the ROM realm to life. For example, you guys seen Sergio shared the idea to um, do a jewelry box and Tiny um, did go ahead and get the boxes that he suggested and now is planning to make resin um, out of it, like a resin pattern on it. And she'll make the boxes and he's already decided he'll make the 3d boxes and tiny and i were talking and we're saying how great something like that can expand because now she has this awesome hard box that's in physical life he's created the 3d box and we have a bunch of people in our realm that make real jewelry right so everyone that makes real jewelry can now put their jewelry in our custom blackout box that Tiny has in real life that we can also have the 3D version of it. So now we're adding so much value and so much collaboration because now you can get this beautiful box that Tiny made and this beautiful um, digital piece that your digital earrings will be in this beautiful 3D digital box that Sergio made and it'll all be connected. So us you know, really building on the ideas that people are sharing in that idea realm. Um, it's great to see those are the things that warm my heart, literally, seriously. So um, seeing that, especially seeing the action of Tiny going and getting the exact ones and then Sergio following up and saying he's on Blender and, you know, we're really building on that. So make sure you guys take part in that, you know, share ideas on colors. And she shared that she has some flowers in there. You know, if you see pictures on resin with, you know, leaves in it and you think that would be a cool pattern that we can incorporate, you know, share that there. Let's really work together to grow these things that are going to be 
powerful for our entire ecosystem. So, um, so far, again, I've just kind of gone through the ways of how you can contribute in order to receive our airdrop. And let me see, I can't share my, um, my t-shirt, but I can actually share my screen. So let me share my screen with you all to show you the airdrop. So is it sharing? Okay, perfect. So da 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 da. This is the token that I'm working on for the airdrop. Um, can you guys see it? Let me try to go back. Can you guys see it? Okay, yeah, it says Discord says I'm sharing. Okay, so yes, this is the token for the airdrop. So this is what I'm referring to now. This is my first project on Blender. I'm super proud of it. I just have to keep playing with the lighting. Um, Stella did give me some really great tips on what I can do for the lighting. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to swivel it that way. Um, so I'm really excited to keep playing with it. Woo! look at that thing so yes this is my token of appreciation for anyone who contributes this month in the um launch i also am wearing my t-shirt which again glows in the dark so i'll be sharing that at the end of this call but back to how you can receive this beautiful token of appreciation i've gone over how you can use the theme how you can collaborate next is going to be support now, of course, the best thing you can do is actually purchase one of the t-shirts. Um, really, when I made this t-shirt, if you guys read the Mirror article from this week, I really emphasized how I used a lot of the lessons that I've gained from each of the t-shirts I've made before to try to revolutionize it and make this the 3.0 of it all. And I want to start selling NFTs, you know, I'm ready. And um, so the best way you can do is of course, purchase the NFT, purchase the t-shirt, um, start growing your Mocaso collection, uh, especially why I really wanna make it a different item each month is because I want to include you guys in that process as well. Again, I, I really went over it in my um, mirror article, but just having you help with the colors and the theme, and especially if you're building your collection, it's almost like you're customizing it, right? You're becoming a part of this story as we're sharing it and um, just expanding. Like That's really what I'm passionate about. So being able to do that through my fashion and with the community is what I'm enjoying doing. So seeing people buy that would just be like the cherry on top to confirm it all. I've gotten some really amazing feedback ever since I've started sharing it yesterday, especially from people in the GDN. And I, I know I've said it a million times, but it really means a lot because they have seen me from literally the first tie-dye t-shirt I made to um, Web3 Fashion Week all the way to now and just us growing together and them, you know, saying how great they see it all come together. It is awesome. So, um, again, ways you can support is buying the t-shirt or you can post three hype me up posts, right? Those can be three shares on Twitter. And I'm not talking like regular retweet. I mean, like, go buy this awesome t-shirt. You can stake it for 20%, you know, really give it some sauce so that your viewers get some interest in what we're doing here. And that's what I mean by hype me up post, right? You know, tag me, a Mocasa of NFTs and raw apparel. That's how I'm going to be able to see it. And under each of these, I did also sh um, drop where you should um, be sharing this as well. So that way I can count it, right? So under the theme, if you see in our Discord, and I'll go back to here. So if you see here in our Discord, we do have, and sorry, my laptop is just so slow. That's why I always complain about this thing because the struggle is real for real. But um, so here we have a whole section down here for raw season one. So if you have patterns, drop them here. If you have pieces, physical, digital, physical to digital, drop them here. And if you have ideas about our workshop, 
drop them here, right? These are, the, again, the core things that are going to come with each season. I have started talking more about the workshops. One of the things I really, really would like to do is include our digi models. I have mentioned how I've talked to Asa from Majestic Apparel and have talked to her about her giving a piece of her um, intro to getting in how to make digital fashion with her model. Um, again, I did just say how Stella is collaborating on this NFT and we were just in Twitter spaces and I seen her kind of give some hype when I mentioned the digi models hopping in for the workshop because again, that's something her realm um, focuses on as well as getting this information and putting it to the community so so many ways we'll be able to expand on all this information and if you guys have ideas drop them if you have resources drop them i realize i cannot do everything on my own and me creating this discord this realm this DAO, and hopping out there is my way of saying I understand that. I've learned that lesson and I'm ready to connect with those that are really have that same mission and ready to build. So if you have ideas and things that you would like to build on, just find the right channel, drop it, and we will figure it out. Um, and the last thing you can do is big projects. And that is um, the last thing. And that will be towards helping the entire realm in itself. So the three big projects we have right now is the Wayfair bot. Now, I know I can, of course, YouTube University and figure out how to program it myself. Um, that's the plan. But when I was creating this list and thinking of the roles that we have, again, I really want to really like creating equal opportunities for everyone to use the skills that they have and participate. So if we have people that are more into tech and into coding and that they already know how to deal with these bots because I'm telling you guys, I am. I'm learning, I'm open to learning, I enjoy learning, so I know I can learn anything, but I am... Um, not not tech savvy just yet. I was I will say I was an IT tech lab in college because I have such a I can figure it out spirit. So I can't say I'm like not too too tech savvy, but that's like press a few buttons, unjam the printer, you know, kind of shake it until it works out. Like that's my motto. So <laughs> um, if I can collaborate with those that know a little more, so we're operating smoother. Um, that's better. And I've also learned, especially when it comes to like learning the, how to make these 3D objects is you can figure it out, but sometimes you get things done quicker, even when you're just collaborating with others. So for those big projects, I really thought about what's going to take me a long time to figure out how to do all by myself and which will be more efficient if we did it as a bigger collaboration. So the Way Wayfair bot was one of those projects. Um, the core NFT collabs as well. Um, you guys know we are still trying to figure out um, the theme that we would like to do for those core roles. Um, and again, that kind of goes off those eight roles that we even said we would be having, you know, like the information aggregator, um, tech wizards, just uh, designers, just those kind of things. Right now, I'm still kind of in that fruit basket garden thing. I was thinking maybe we could do like a university theme. Um, and that goes off of some of the really cool stuff that I have when it comes to my digital fashion and thinking like maybe we can do those groups as fraternities because they're different groups. But fraternities usually aren't like inclusive. And I'm trying to be more like you're different groups, but we're all working together. So still trying to figure out a theme so that then we can make NFTs around that theme so that once you get that role, you get this NFT that you can then stake, right? Because again, it's all about incentives. And I want those that are helping this community and helping our success be incentivized. And that's what our motto is here today how can you help and receive this because even this piece right here will be stakeable again through the digital x um platform so everything you do this month you will be incentivized for it. and especially if you contribute you know we'll be successful and be able to continue on this path and those incentives will keep incentivizing <laughs> Um, so the last thing you can do other than those core NFT collaborations is one-on-one -on -one brainstorming. So I love um, talking with people, meeting with people, 
brainstorming, having those think tanks, even if it's you and a couple people, it's you and someone you think I should talk to, I'm always open to furthering that um, connection and networking in that way, especially when it comes to realm development. One of the next things we are going to be doing is our governance token. And I know a lot of other realms are kind of in that same boat as well. So, you know, if others just want to chat and talk about, you know, strategies that they're using for how they're marketing their realm, how they're getting Patreons, how they're building their website, how they're building uh, governance tokens, Anything like that that's going to really impact our realm and can help, again, not shortcut that process, but say, hey, I've started learning this and these are some of the things you want to be paying attention to and that can help as you enter that step. Again, you'll get this token of appreciation for offering that. So these are the 10 different ways that you can contribute this month. Did anybody have any questions before I switch it over? To show my t-shirt let me see nope okay let me see okay so then I'm gonna go ahead and get my t-shirt so nobody leave yet let me switch and show you guys because I'm so excited and the packaging is awesome as well. I will give you guys a tidbit. I have a vision. <laughs> when I first, when I did Web3 Fashion Week and I thought we were all going to make like six six figures off of it, I, w I had like these cases picked out and I'm like, when people buy this t-shirt, they're going to get it in like a nice case like you would if you bought like an autographed jersey and it has the light up top and it has this whole thing it's a whole experience so i haven't given up on that i think um as our value grows those kind of things would definitely come into play but to start out i am going to be including like a cute little flashlight that has the uv light and just little things like that that again will still make it a, a whole experience when you do support so without further ado drum roll please just kidding i'm i'm a goofball guys i know I just can't help it. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, oh, wrong way. Uh -huh. And that's all. Okay, so, ta-da! Look how awesome this shirt looks right right can you guys see so i'm trying to sit in the best way possible so let me show you it with the actual light yes yes i'm trying to keep it that effect like you can't see anything except for the black light of the shirt and it's really cool as you go like around the shirt it kind of like moves it gives you that real live galaxy feel to it um, let me turn the whole light on so you guys can see the actual shirt, the real shirt, just in case you've missed it. So this is my actual shirt. Yo, mute, Mo. Oh, sorry. Mo, we can't hear you. Sorry. So this is the okay. actual shirt. Okay. Looks awesome. Awesome. So that's the actual shirt. And then... Black light shirt. I love your excitement. I really do. It looks amazing. <laughs> I, I, that's what I said. I need like the whole light. I want to have like a whole setup where you can see the whole thing. But that is it. That is all I had to share with you guys um, today was how you can contribute. Um, I wanted to also show you the token for um, my first blender experiment and just everything that we're doing did anybody have any questions feedback anything and thanks zay i appreciate your excitement for my excitement it is and you guys zay i'm wait till you guys see her first pattern i'll give you a little snippet since we're giving snippets in our community calls she has animals and is going physical to digital and creating patterns okay 
Zay is going to save the farmers, and we got so many ideas when it comes to that. I'm going to just leave it there. But, um, yeah, so excited for all the things we have coming. Um, physical mm -hmm. to digital, Raw Season 1 is here. Um, and this is just a, a glimpse of all the awesome things that we have coming. So, I don't see anybody unmuting. If nobody else had any questions. I did share all of those details again on how you can contribute in our realm um, in the update. So you can always check there if you want to double check. I will be dropping a lot more official content. Um, I've been going content crazy with the new patterns and putting all this information on them so that it's forkable. People are getting it. People are participating, sharing it, and just getting involved. And, you know, it, <laughs> I know my ladies from the Grand Life Network know I'm always like, we put the work in network. You have to work for real. This is what we do. You know, we have to boost our algorithms, like our each other's stuff, share each other's stuff, promote it, and um, eventually we'll all be successful that way. So just super excited to be here building with you all. I hope you use the patterns, use the theme, buy the shirt, uh, collaborate with each other. Um, and that that's it. That's all I have. So again, I'll ask one last time. Does anybody have any questions? I think I see Zay unmuted. Yes, I have a, I just have like a, yeah, a question. Um, so you said that you Yes, and that's why we have that collaboration chat. And if you guys seen, I kind of kept posting in there today because that was awesome. Sergio um, posted, you know, we should have this box that we make. And then Tiny went, bought the boxes, and now she's going to make the physical box. He is going to make the digital box. And anybody that makes jewelry can use these boxes to sell and ship their real physical jewelry in as well as show it off in this digital case so that's an awesome collaboration right there that we can continue growing on so i would say drop that in the um collaboration chat you can even at her majestic apparel and you know mention how you seen her digi model uh you have this pattern and would love to you know create some fashion with it and i'm sure she would you know be helpful and i wouldn't mind even trying to help with setting that up because I think that's a great idea and especially your patterns and how you're taking your furs and creating patterns out of them is really cool and I'm sure you guys can figure out like a really cool way to do that or, or you know even that we have a bunch of digi models in the space and they all use different software and different ideas so sometimes just putting it out there and seeing others that might have ideas on how they can collaborate is even you know just as great because sometimes you end up creating something you would have never imagined like wow this is amazing how this came from it so thanks for sharing i will be on the lookout for you to share that in the collaborations um chat and i look forward to seeing how that grows and the collaboration that comes from that so this has been recorded um i appreciate everyone who's popped in here again i do look forward to seeing everyone that collaborates on the idea i know all of us kind of have our own realms as well so if there's a way that you think our realms can collaborate please reach out again everything that i try to do is based off of how i can do it collaborating with others as well so that anybody can collaborate so always looking for collaboration ideas and i always think about how i can collaborate with everyone as well like every realm i think i've envisioned how i can do some type of collaboration with them and help what they're doing as well help their mission and you know add my little sparkle that i come with to helping build their dream and help that come to real life so um, I'm always open to it. I'm just a very excited person. So sometimes I keep things to myself and just work on them quietly um, because I know everyone's busy. But again, you guys will get you know used to me as our realm evolves and continues to grow. But that that's me, just a busy bee that likes working with others. So if you ever have ideas, drop them in the ideas chat. Otherwise, that's it. That's all I have for today.
Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to unmute at any time while you're heading out. Oh, yes. I can hear you. Is there, like, a daily stand-up so we could, like, know, like, of the progress on the collaboration? Or how do we, you know, like, how do we be accountable, like? Yes. Um, so how do you be accountable on, like, how the collaborations are coming? Or, um... Yeah. And, like, and, like, how, like, do we just write daily stand-ups on the Discord? Yes, exactly. Right now, it's just going to be on Discord. When we have our governance token and Wayfair bot, it's going to be a lot easier because with the Wayfair bot, what it will be is you'll just actually message the Wayfair bot and it'll give you a list of like activities that you can complete. And then when you say you've completed a task, then you'll be rewarded your governance tokens. So once we have our Wayfair bot and governance tokens set up, um, the accountability will be a lot easier, but for this first month, while we are setting all that up together, um, it's just going to be sharing in the different chats that we have in the Discord. So right now, while while you're talking about collaborations in specific, you'll just keep um, expanding there now on that collab uh, chat under NFTs, so that way everybody can kind of put in their two cents on ideas. If you have updates on how your box is coming, you can share it there. Um, we also, I also try to keep it very close to Global Designer Network since we are kind of a branch off that tree. Um, so in the Global Designer Network chat, there is an awesome chat called Ask a Designer. And if you ever have questions on like one of these softwares that you're using um, because, you know, the lighting is off or a setting is off and you can't figure out what to do next. Everyone there is really awesome when it comes to replying and trying to help you figure that out so that those kind of resources are great um, if necessary. But just sharing those updates within the channels that we have in the Raw Realm is how we're going to be held accountable this month, which should also kind of help keep people in our ecosystem using the Discord chat until we do have that daily NFT that you can claim um, for that governance token. Okay. Awesome. Great question, though. Thanks for asking that. So, yes, guys. And again, on that um, picture that I showed, uh, showing all the different things you can do for collaborations, I did put in parentheses where to share that one. So, again, for that theme, share that under our raw season one. If you have patterns that you're making for the blackout, drop it there. If you're using patterns on your designs or, you know, just doing anything with the blackout, share it under those designs. Under those co the collaboration, again, even if you have your own idea, your own physical item and need a digital designer, or maybe you have a digital design and want to go physical, you know, um, drop it there and anybody that can help can, again, put it out there and see what we can do. Um, and again, for the support, I think that's the only one that you'll, again, have to tag me and Raw Apparel so that I'll see it. Um, and count it when I see that. And then the big projects, again, if you want to help with the Wayfair bot or developing the core NFTs for our roles or have some brainstorming ideas for how we can develop the raw realm when it comes to governance tokens, um, those are some of the things that you'll just DM me on individually. But it is there on the... Um, updates all of this is in the updates you can reach out anytime really use the chat um i would love to see that continue to grow see a lot more usefulness of it seeing people write their articles share it there have events share it there um create stuff share it there again just a community of sharing everyone's not always just so focused on what i have going on but love seeing and you know using that as inspiration where the physical to digital realm, and we can really take over that space um, by just using what everyone comes with. So just sharing that is going to be a great key that we can use and take advantage of. But a uh, great question. Did anybody have any others before we go? 
No. Okay, perfect. Well, this has been great. Again, um, our next one will actually be next Friday. Um, we will start to have our community calls every Friday. And as you guys know, we do have it every other week in our raw realm. So next week will just be for that core team. If you consider your part of yourself a part of that core team or want to listen in on the core team as we you know further out some of these ideas like the roles and the duties that come with each role you will receive uh recognition for coming to the one next week and receive that airdrop if you do come to our core think tank next week and participate uh which means unmute share what you have going on or an idea or some kind of feedback because again even these you guys see i can ramble on i don't really enjoy to <laughs> i prefer a conversation i put it all out there but i love feedback um expanding on things i try to keep it simple at first but things do need expansion sometimes so i love going deeper furthering that conversation based off of the conversations based off of other ideas and going from there so um we do have another one next friday and if you guys come to that you will qualify for the airdrop as well so happy new year's i hope you guys have a safe weekend if you're celebrating um set new goals if that's what you're into and just Praying much peace, love, and prosperity overflows into everyone into this new year. And we are the blackout. Remember that everybody's waiting on this raw realm. We are the blackout. So I appreciate you all for taking the time to listen in today, for participating. And I really look forward to all that we're accomplishing going to accomplish this next year and many more because this is just the beginning for us. So, um, Talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, perfect.